What's up everybody? Auto Trainer here and right now I am just uh searching the train before I start it. Um ooh, Kentucky Bourbon, we'll definitely take that. Um before I start the train I gotta search it because I got some Ooh, what are these? Something for something. Just keep on keeping on. Music. Let's search the table. Take some candy. Oh, I can't take a cigar. Oh, I run into something. Just making sure there's nothing else I need to grab before I start the train. Let's search these drawers. Nothing of use, okay. Well, I got enough snake oil to last me a long time, I guess. Alright, and while we're at it, we're gonna search for bodies. Can't carry any more of this item? Oh, man. difficult. Sir poops a lot. Well, that took a lot of energy. I've already checked this guy. Okay. I knocked him off the train. Okay. As for you, I'm throwing you off too. <laughs> Goodbye. Ugh. I don't know, do I want these guys alive or dead? Either way, I should go and start the train and maybe I have to let him live I don't know ah oh, well maybe it was the best thing I did let him live I mean I don't know I thought I was going to drive the train. Oh well. I guess we'll just do something else. In the storyline. Eastward bound. I'm back. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're going to try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> All right. Old chuck wagons.
Oh, that's some sick music. And we just riding, I guess. Riding around. Just riding and Larry, riding. Micah, get over here. Yes, boss. You two Ooh. ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. <laughs> Micah, you is prejudice. Oh dang, we're getting into warmer weather. All right. All right. Come on, horses. What do you think I'm doing? Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Ah, shit. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. Hmm. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on. Huh? You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. All right, let's Stay fix this wagon. Pick the wheel up. Bash the wheel. So useless after all. <laughs> Not <laughs> quite. All right. Yo. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. Hmm. I'll tell you. All right. Get back on the wagon. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. All right. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. Uh huh. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them. It was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here Mush. was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, <laughs> don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. So, just whipping these horses. I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. 
Hmm. All life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink All had right. a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Easy, whoa. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are Where we heading we in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. <laughs> I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Mm -hmm. Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. Oh, he right. He had on. a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. Hmm. It's the way it is. Always so happen. true. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For okay. Now, anyway. It's okay, don't worry. I got this. <laughs> that was you, Javier? I didn't know it was you for a second until he said Javier. Prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of them. 
us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolation. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for mm -hmm. robbing banks to usury? Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, <laughs> put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now. And we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get okay. to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. <laughs> Seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. All right. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've right. seen shit with more common sense than you do it properly. All right, good to know. Ooh, getting smoking now. All right, that. It concludes chapter one, it looks like. And we're now in the chapter two. Horseshoe Lookout, or Outlook, or something. A couple of weeks later. I think that's where we're going to take a break. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry if I didn't talk as much. There was a lot of dialogue. But, uh, yeah, we're going to definitely do some free roaming stuff ourselves. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.